Let's go. And you will see. This is your live boy today, and it's coming to you this Tuesday, 17th day of May 2022. And for your live boy today, we are still reading the Psalms, and you know, Psalms are about expressions of relationship with the Lord. But the particular Psalms that we are taking this week are Psalms of praises, of thanksgiving, of rejoicing in the Lord. And so, the Psalm that we are taking today is asking you to sing to the Lord. So the topic for your life, boy, today is sing to the Lord. And the psalm that we'll be taking is Psalm 98. And I still have Brother Eloho here with me. He is going to read to us from Psalm 98. Are you set? If you're set, let's go. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him victory. The Lord has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of the Lord. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lie with the lyre and the sound of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the floods clap their hands. Let the hills sing for joy together before the Lord, for he comes to joy the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God for you need to sing to the Lord. You need to sing to the Lord because what we just read tells you about one portion in the history of Israel when God dealt so wondrously with them and everything went so beautifully. They were conquering their enemies. They were overrunning anybody that dared come against them. And so this, actually, this psalm, you know, it's not all psalms that were written, actually, by David. Although in Yoruba, in the Yoruba Bible, you'll find the psalms written as only Daphidi, the songs of David, as if he wrote everything. But this particular one was ob obviously written by David after one of his conquests to showcase that the Lord was with him in leading the people of Israel and in making sure that they overcame all the enemies. Are there areas of your life that you are also an overcomer to, you need to think very deep. You know, the Yorubas, I'm Yoruba from southwest Nigeria in Africa, and there's a saying that we say that if you know how to think, you will know how to thank God. You know, that's the literal interpretation. So if you're able to think very well, there are so many reasons for you also to sing to the Lord. Because if you do not sing to the Lord, you know, it's written in the scriptures that we just read that... The, the winds, the waves would clap. You know, if, if, you, if you've been on a cruise before, you will understand what this is all about because the waves and the waters actually do clap. And sometimes the clapping can be in particular meters that they form like lyrics and beautiful music 
to the king of kings, and even to human beings that can discern and hear those signs. So if those non-living things, so to say, well, you can also say they are living of sorts, but not the kind of life that you have, not the kind of image that you are created in, in the image of God. And those other things that are lesser beings to you, and I dare say that is absolutely correct, they are lesser beings to you, are able to praise, to the, to praise the Lord and to sing to the Lord. So what is it that will make you not to sing to the Lord? Is it the hardship in your country? Is it the bad governance that you are experiencing? Is it the poverty that you are going through? Are those reasons enough for you not to sing to the Lord? Remember that if you know how to think very well, then you will be able to thank God. Okay? In fact, there is um, a particular song that says, in, uh, uh, it's, it's a Yoruba song of praise that says, if I decide to count the blessings of the Lord, it will grow dark and new day will come again and I will still have enough to count of those blessings of the Lord and to sing to the Lord. Therefore, I commend to you today that you sing to the Lord because he's the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. But perhaps you may not be able to sing to that Lord because you don't even know him. You don't recognize who that King of Kings is and who that Lord of Lords is. You don't have a relationship with him. You are not a Christian. So I'm sending an invitation to you right now so that you can join us. It's such a huge live boat that this live boy is able to keep afloat. Therefore, there is room for you. Are you set to take your own place? You're ready to give your life to Christ today? Then say this prayer after me. Say, Lord, I come to you today. I also want to be able to sing to you as my Lord and Savior. I confess my sins and I say, forgive me. And I say, renew my life and let me from today begin to live a life that is worthy of you and that I may be called by your name from today. I pray in Jesus' name. If you said that prayer, pronto, you have also become a Christian. Yes, it's as easy as that. What you need to do next is to keep growing in the faith so that you can every day of your life sing to the Lord. And how do you do that? Find a Bible-believing church around you, join them, learn the foundations of faith, and from there, grow in faith so that you can be able to sing to the Lord. I always recommend to you that you find an Anglican church, maybe close to your place of work or close to your place of abode, and join them, and you enjoy singing to the Lord. But I always say again, if you happen to be in Oshubu, come to the Anglican Church, Oroki Estate Extension. There, we will together be able to sing to the Lord every day of our lives. Most particularly on Wednesday, 5 p.m. when we have our midweek services, and on Sunday, 10 a.m. when we have our regular uh, Sunday services or matins on Sunday. And how do you find your way to the Anglican Church, Oroki Estate Extension? In Oshubu, get to Oroki Estate Go to the extension part of it. Ask for Onyiko and Gokyo Mibodon Drive. Get to the Olive Branches Middle and High School. Walk straight into the chapel hall. That's where we are for now. Sing into the Lord. Join us and it will be well with you. But before you go for today, let's say this prayer together. Say, grant, O gracious God, that I have cause to sing to your praise and glory today. And always I pray in Jesus' name. And I say, Amen. So go out today, sing to the Lord, and He will continue to bless you. I judge you faithful.